We've got a tornado warning for that cell right there. This is when you and your family need to get to your safe place to ride out the storm. Wow, take a look at this storm. It's incredible. Great looking structure here, guys. We've got rotation going on at the base here. All right, a lowering of that base. We call this a supercell, by the way. A rotating thunderstorm is a supercell. Not all of them produce tornadoes, but this one's got a chance. We're watching this base, it's lowering. Almost looks like there's a funnel starting to appear from the wall cloud. Yes, there it is. Do we have debris on the ground? Yes, we do. There's a debris cloud, a connection. Now you have a tornado on the ground, a tornado on the ground at this time. When tornadoes form, they're not usually that wide, okay? Just like this one. But it's important to point out that size doesn't always equate to the intensity. Today, there's a mobile Doppler radar actually feeding back real-time wind speeds. And I, and I'm being told that those wind speeds are approaching about 85 miles per hour. So that's likely going to be an EF0. All right, EF0 damage here is tree branches thrown around, some roof shingles peeled back. But hold on, let's look at this tornado. It's going from more of a rope now to a much thicker tornado, much wider tornado. Looks more like a stovepipe now. It's called a stovepipe because it resembles one. This could produce EF1 damage, potentially. All right, 86 to 110 mile per hour winds here. Mobile homes now can be flipped or rolled, roofs severely damaged here, and there can be extensive power outages. Jeez, that was close. Look it, when you've got a tornado like this, power lines are gonna fall, sometimes like dominoes, just like you see here. You gotta stay clear of these, even if they don't appear to be live. They're still extremely dangerous. The ground may be energized around the pole, all right? Stand at least 40 feet away, and frankly, if you're standing where I am, you're way too close. Way too close. All right, that was intense. Let's keep looking at this tornado because it's still moving toward us. And from what I'm hearing from the Doppler on wheels, it is still intensifying. They're giving winds now 111 to 135 miles per hour. So this is likely an EF2, all right, if they can find the damage that, equal to that, that is equal to that. Winds are now strong enough to not just roll a mobile home, but completely destroy it tear off complete rooms and send debris through the air like missiles. Jeez, how are you gonna get out of the way of that thing? This is exactly why we need you away from all the exterior walls, because debris flying through the air like that leads to so many injuries and deaths in tornadoes. We're still under a tornado warning. The twister is now more than likely producing EF3 damage. Doppler winds exceed 150 miles per hour. This tornado is capable of severely damaging large structures and destroying well-constructed homes. Like this one that we brought into the studio. Roof's gone, the only thing left in this house are a few interior rooms, all right? The safest place in this house is the central bathroom. This is the lowest level that you should be in if you don't have a shelter that is below ground. Put as many walls between you and the outside that you can. And remember, when you go to take cover, grab a helmet, grab a sturdy pair of shoes, because you have to walk outside after the tornado, and that presents all kinds of new hazards. Clearly, NEF3 is life-threatening. Thank goodness less than 1% of all tornadoes in the U.S. are classified higher. The problem is, that's exactly what we're seeing here. The mobile Doppler radar now detecting winds in excess of 180 miles per hour. That is likely EF4 damage. I mean, look at the funnel. You can't even see it from edge to edge. This type of tornado is pulverizing everything in its path. Huge, heavy objects thrown into the air and carried several hundred feet. Oh, jeez, you gotta be kidding me. Look at this, this beat up 3,000 pound car. It was lofted by the tornado and tossed around like that piece of wood that we saw earlier. It could have come from a mile away. It's mangled, we got gasoline leaking out. That's even creating more hazards. You know, it's not unusual for tornadoes to displace large objects. In the past, a bus was carried a half a mile, a mattress some 40 miles, and paper lofted and carried over 200 miles from its original starting place. Surely this tornado is lofting objects up and centrifuging them out. It means business, and believe it or not, it is actually getting stronger. Look at how massive this thing is. This is called a wedge tornado because it is wider than it is tall. They can be more than a mile across, sometimes even more than two miles across. Imagine that thing coming at you with 200 mile per hour winds. This is a deadly EF5. Lights, yeah, they're starting to flicker now. We're about to get hit. This is as bad as it gets. I'm grabbing my helmet and I'm taking shelter now.
way into the Weather Channel safe room. This happens to be our fire suppression room. But in your case, it may be a bathroom. It may be uh, an interior closet. Somewhere where you are at the farthest distance on the first floor from the outside walls. I mean, listen to what's going on out there. Listen to that. Those are big objects. Maybe, maybe the roof is being torn off. We don't know. But I've got a helmet. I've got a sturdy pair of shoes because you got to walk out of here. Take a deep breath before you emerge from your safe room because you're not going to believe what you're going to see, especially with what we hear and going on outside. Here's the deal. I'm going to stay with you guys as long as I possibly can until we lose our signal, which may happen at any time. Be safe. Unbelievable. Absolute, utter destruction. A sea of destruction as this area took a direct hit while we were away in our storm shelter. I mean, this is terrible. Homes completely wiped off their foundation here. Asphalt ripped up from the ground to the point where we don't even know what street that we're on here. Even automobiles stripped of their paint. We can still smell gas. Some fires going on behind us since we're here. This is a hazardous situation. So even though the tornado is passed, for you and your family and your pets, be sure that you recognize this. We have huge pieces of debris, sharp edges all over the place, nails, two by fours with nails that are sticking up out of the ground. Be careful where you walk once you emerge from the tornado shelter. This is classic EF5 damage. People's lives have been changed forever. And although rare, these types of tornadoes and this type of destruction are a reality for this country. Think back to Moore, Oklahoma on a couple of occasions. Joplin, Missouri of recent. Tuscaloosa, Alabama, strong EF4 there. Complete towns can be wiped off the map, like Greensburg, Kansas was back in May of 2007. No one in America is safe from the threat of a tornado, even in the winter. You need to have a plan that's communicated with your family and have acted upon when you're under a tornado warning. You won't know the EF rating until the damage is done. So be prepared for any tornado, no matter what the size or the EF rating.